Plaza de la España. I think that's it. There may it. not be yeah. a la in there. No. We are in Spain, not France. We are indeed. <laughs> but it is absolutely breathtaking. It is amazing, it isn't is. it? It yeah. is. It's like Venice, but not. And it's like Morocco, but not. It's really, really pretty. <laughs> Huge fountain in the middle, yes. which we'll see in a minute. Lots of tiles. Uh, it's, it's lovely. We'll show you. The Plaza de España is a plaza in the Parque de Maria Luisa. It was built in 1928 for the Ibero, American Exposition of 1929, to showcase all things Spanish and to build better relationships between Spain and the many countries in attendance. It is a perfect example of regionalism architecture, mixing elements of Baroque, Renaissance and Moorish revival styles. The tiled areas running around the horseshoe each represent and celebrate a different region of Spain. At the expo they showcased crafts and delicacies of each region. Spanish tourists can often be seen posing for photos in their home region. The bookshelves these days are sometimes used as an informal book swap. These days the area is perfect for a relaxing day out with stalls selling refreshments, ice creams and toys for children. Boats and horse-drawn carriages are available to hire, parks to explore and toilets. It's the sort of place you want to linger, just to admire it for a little bit longer. We're in the Park de Maria Luisa. Which is just slightly out of town, isn't it? It is, it is. Yeah, lots of nice little wildlife. There's lots of birds, you can probably hear them in the no, background. We've been feeding the ducks and we the have. trees and waterways. Lovely, really lovely place to spend some time. And it's right close to, have you got the name? Yes, the Plaza <laughs> de España. Which is yeah. a man-made beauty. Yeah, it is amazing. Yeah. Yes, that's, that's somewhere you must visit. Yeah, go have a wander around, see what we can see. And just having a real chill, laid back day. It's lovely. So come and see.
This whole area of Seville was expanded with hotels and parks with wider roads to welcome the influx of visitors. All the buildings have since been repurposed as government offices, museums and consulates. Join us on a beautiful adventure around Seville. Subscribe so you don't miss a thing. In this brand new series we're exploring this exquisite winter sun destination with vlogs featuring the Plaza de España, Triana district including the Seville Tower, the real Alcazar palaces and gardens, the giant mushroom of the Metropole Parasol, Dan climbs the Tour de Oro, exploring Cadiz and much more.